value. And I'll give Gorilla Desk their credit. You know, they continue to add things to the platform. It feels like on a weekly, monthly basis that just continue to make the platform worth more and more. And they're not even like raising the price. Like as long as they stay at this price point, I think they'll definitely take over the industry uh, by the time all And in today's video specifically, we're going to be going over Gorilla Desk. Um, we've mentioned Gorilla Desk endless, endless amounts of times on this channel. And what I wanted to do today is just go over some of their updated features. Of course, they have a classic version that has been out for I don't even know how long now. Um, just a you know standard old Gorilla Desk. And then the version that we use now is of course version three. That is my favorite version to use by far. It's not tremendously different necessarily. It's easier to use in my opinion once you actually get in there and start using everything. You know, like I've mentioned on this channel multiple times, we've been using them since we've been, I would say a legit business, you know, actually having some consistent sales. We didn't use them from out of the gate. We were using Square, Square appointments. We had a Square, I think Weebly is who actually owns them or you know is the website provider or whatever, but we had a Weebly website which was all integrated through Square. So that was what we used for about a month or two in business. And then once we you know were kind of getting serious, that is when we hopped on the Gorilla Desk platform. And by the way, if you want to check out Gorilla Desk, you know, in more detail actually have a link for you guys now i roll down here in the description box you will see right here you can use our promo code griffin or you can simply just click the link in that description box as well and either way that'll take you we can actually pull the link up here just so you guys get an idea of what to expect first and foremost because a lot of people one of the main questions i've been getting on like previous Gorilla Desk videos. Um, you know, I posted a video about Gorilla Desk, I want to say about six to eight months ago, roughly. And then I want to say maybe one other one in between then and now. And one of the most common questions that come up over and over is is it really worth it to go ahead and do the pro version or should you just stick with the basic? So, yeah, this is how I like breaking it down, just in terms of the basic versus the pro. So, the basic version, it does include a lot of stuff. The thing is, is when it comes to routing, you are going to be slightly limited. Um, it limits you to 24 stops. So for example, what that means, if you actually go into your calendar here, and let's say you wanted to go ahead and you know pull up your map, for example. Um, what we could do is we could do the route optimizer, and you can select you know different amount of days you know you can optimize your route for the whole month say your stops are just kind of all over the place and you want to hurry up and try to get your route optimized as quick as possible you could literally select the whole month if you wanted to you could select one day so um if if you think that that's going to be a tool that you're definitely going to utilize automatically go after the pro version if you have multiple employees and you like to do device tracking and things like that, GPS device tracking, all of that, then that's another reason because that's not included in the basic plan. We have been on the pro version from day one. Uh, there's just so many things, you know, the ratings and review generator tool, that is an amazing tool. That alone is worth, you know, 20 to $25 a month at the minimum, depending on what company you use, it's worth even more. You have the customer online portal, uh, documents and e-signatures, which of course is like your service agreements, your termite agreements, all these different things. You can set up uh, Stripe subscriptions, which is very important for those of us who do, you know, either yearly billing, monthly billing, you know, where you have them on some kind of auto pay. This is a very nice tool to have in here as well because it will save you money on your card processing. So again, you know, when you take a look at everything, because of course it already includes all those basic plus features but it includes all these different things on top of that um, and you might be wondering well what if I don't have a gorilla desk website it doesn't matter you can you can literally have no website and they'll still essentially have like a website of its own for a customer po customer portal if that makes sense um, but yeah and in terms of pricing too here's the other thing the basic plan is $49 per month 
the pro plan is $99 a month. So it's less than double the cost. But again, if you just kind of take a look at all of the other features that come within this, even things like QuickBook Sync, right? Um, we don't, I'll say straight up, we don't use the QuickBook Syncs. We actually tried it, um, I want to say about a year ago, roughly, but it just didn't like work out too well for us. I don't know if it's like an accounting thing on our end or what, but we were having some minor little like duplicate issues essentially. So, you know, who knows, maybe now that I have an accountant actually handling everything, it may be something we want to try again, just to make our lives easier and accounting easier, save us some money maybe on accounting costs, right? But yeah, I mean, the documents, that's a whole nother thing. You know, would you rather have the basic plan and still have to walk around, you know, with paper documents and stuff like that? Or would you rather have those e-signatures and everything right then and there? Uh, you can even upload your own documents onto Gorilla Desk as well. I believe one of you actually brought that up recently in one of the chats that we did on a live stream. I think you said it was like 35 or $45, maybe even 65 I forget. But it's really not that expensive at all. Like, say you have a specific contract you want to port into Gorilla Desk, you can do that as well. That's something else that wouldn't be available in the basic option, but it is available in the Pro. Um, the other cool thing too is they do offer discounts if you were to pay for the year. I forget exact. I think it's like you get a month for free or something like that. Let me see. 99 times 12 months would be 1,188. So yeah, you're essentially getting one whole month for free if you decide that you want to go ahead and pay for the year up front. And that goes for, you know, regardless of how many different technicians you get. So say, you know, you have 20 technicians that's saving over what, $2,000 a year roughly or say you have you know five technicians um, you know five total users you're gonna save what 500 bucks for the year so it really adds up for sure if you decided that you did want to pay for the year up front I personally you know pay monthly I'm just used to it it's like a monthly expense for us if we ever have just you know a really big month like 30 grand or something crazy then I'll probably go ahead and just pay it for the whole year you know before the end of the year just to get another write-off if nothing else ahead of time um, but yeah, yeah, no, in terms of those two plans, in my opinion, if you're going to mess around with it at all, I would go ahead and do, and that's another thing, Zapier integration. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot this. Maybe I should have stuck, stuck to their little list here. Uh, Zapier integration, that's another thing that is just amazing game changer. Um, if you don't know what Zapier is, Zapier is something where, long story short, it'll essentially connect one app to another app or a website to an app or an app to a website, website to website, all this different type of stuff um, that, you know, of course you have to have access to it, like a login. And one thing that we do, for example, say we get a form on our website, somebody fills out a form, um, it'll automatically input that customer in here as a lead, as you can see. And we have a setup on CallRail too, which I'm actually about to disable that one or at least make some tweaks to it because as you can see, it's showing up ones that were like scam calls where it says unavailable. That's a scam call. We have to like go in there and delete it. But the whole point is that Zapier integration, if you know how to do it or you have someone else to do it for you, it can make your life so much easier. <laughs> Uh, and they do have graphs on there too. So the graphing tool is pretty cool. I will say you are going to want to use a tablet if you're going to use the graph. I use it on my iPhone 14 Pro Max or whatever they're called, which if you know anything about that phone, it's pretty big and it can be kind of difficult. I had to purchase a stylus and even with a stylus, it can be a little bit difficult. You gotta be very tedious with it. It's almost quicker just to do it on graph paper. But if you use iPads or any type of tablet, the diagrams and graphs definitely come in handy as well. And then of course, like we talked about customer portal, you can set up surveys. Um, I think it brought up the review generation on here as well, online reviews. So uh, what it means by online reviews is, you know how we talk about how important, of course, Google reviews are the review velocity, right? Not just getting reviews, but getting reviews consistently. What better way to try and get reviews consistently than every single time you close out a work order, a customer gets a review request. Um, you know, that, that alone. Now, I will say the only thing I wish they would do, which it sounds like they're in the works of making this happen, is making it to where it sends them the text message review link. Right now, it is email only. 
Um, I don't know, I don't believe yet they have released it or updated it to where it does send text messages as well. But I believe once it starts sending text messages as well, that'll be a game changer because like right now, the only way that you know customers get it through text is if you send it, which we do a pretty good job of sending that text message, me and my wife do, but you know, it would just be, you know, another thing of course that they could add that would just add even more value. And I'll give Gorilla Desk their credit. You know, they continue to add things to the platform. It feels like on a weekly, monthly basis that just continue to make the platform worth more and more. And they're not even like raising the price. Like as long as they stay at this price point, I think they'll definitely take over the industry uh, by the time all said and done. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this live stream. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and make sure your notifications for YouTube are turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we go live or upload another video for you guys. And other than that, I appreciate y'all tuning in as always. I love you guys, and y'all have a great rest of your night.